What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, we've got a big squabble coming up this weekend. Fabio Wardley, the British champion, versus Fraser, the Instagram booty popper, twerker, professional. I won't even, to sit here and tell you he's a boxer, it's not fair. Doesn't do his skills justice, people. Yeah, Fraser Clark, his booty can pop. I mean, I didn't even bother getting it up, but let's just get it up. Because some of you man don't know. Do you know what I mean? Fraser Clark twerking. It's, it's something to behold. I've never seen a 250 pound man twerking before. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, I mean, I've got a bit of a leak here. It's on the. I'm sure it's on the news. It was on the news at one point. Here we go. I've missed it. I've scrolled over it, people. Yeah? Staffordshire Live. Staffordshire is supporting. I don't know where. Listen, I don't know where Fraser Clark from, but. Let's assume it's from Staffordshire. They supporting this guy right now. They promoting his skills. Yeah, they ain't promoting his boxing. Note that they promoting his ability for his booty to pop. Yeah, watch this guy. Watch. Peep this. Watch. This do booty can pop for real, for real. Oh, ain't it playing? What's wrong with this? Here we go. Ready? Look. What? Watch. 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 A a a a pop pop. <laughs> he mad with it. Now you too much with it. Look. Watch. Oh, stop, Fraser, stop. Fraser, stop, please. Please stop. Look at this guy, watch. <laughs> His booty doing the wiggle weather. I don't know where they be doing this one now. I just don't know. Each to their own, but me personally, I don't know where 250 pound man be doing this one now. Oh, maybe you are not. You're not hard. I don't need to be hard, people. I've never once said I'm hard. I don't need to be hard. I don't need to be gangster to tell you I don't know. Where two hundred and fifty pound men do this at? I don't know. Nothing to do with me. Yeah. If my booty is popping, yeah. If you see a video with a YB booty popping, it'd be fair of anyone to say they don't know where they do such conduct at. Where they do it at? I don't know. Look at this watch. Bang, bang. It's just it's genuinely, man. And I think Fraser made a video saying I ain't gonna lie to him, man. My booty pop better than most gal. And that there is a fair assessment to make. More than fair. True. That's a true statement there. Yeah? If that question came up on who wants to be a millionaire, he'd be a winner. Does my... Does Fraser... Does... Or let's say I was on who wants to be a millionaire, yeah? And the final million dollar question came up. Does Fraser Clark pop his booty better than... I won't even call it the average female. I reckon Fraser's probably in the top decile. The top decile of all booty poppers in the world. Female as well. He in there. Man off grinder can't pop like this, I assume. If I was to jump on grinder right now, yeah, and ask a whole bag of man, hey, send me a video of your booty popping. They ain't gonna look like this, they ain't. They stiff, they're men. This cat though, big cat as well, big 200 pound 220, 30, 40, 50 pound cat. Look at this. The head going too, like, hey. Oh, this is too much. It's too much. Truth be known, it's too much. <laughs> it's the machine gun that gets me at the end. Stop. It's the machine gun at the end, people. That's what gets me. Let's watch it one more time. Last time, pause. Last time we're going to watch this big cat booty popping, I promise. Watch it. Watch, watch. watch the machine gun. Watch it. Watch. Here we go. Ready? Ready? He, he post up. <laughs> no, it's the way he post up. It's the way he changes. <laughs> He changes his whole angle though. Watch, 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 watch this. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through it. Watch, watch. What, what? Peep this. Yeah, watch. So he posted a certain way now. Yeah, watch, watch. He changed it up. He gets to the free throw line. Look, 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 look. He, hey, <laughs> some madness. Look at this. <laughs> that booty popping. Anyway, so like I said, we got Fabio Wardley versus Fraser, the booty popper, Clark. The phenomenal, world class. Again, forget about boxing, people. This ain't about boxing. Some things are bigger than boxing. And the way this cat pop his booty, there's levels, right? There's levels to the way you do things. Fraser can box a certain way. Can he box like he pops his booty, though? I don't believe so. Now, I might be wrong. Yeah? If Fraser Clark beats Fabio Wardley, I don't see it happening. I'm sorry, Fabio. I'm sorry, Fabio, for doing you this way. Yeah, because we know the YB. We know the YB you're going to lose some coin in this one. But if I had coin up, I'll be betting big on Wardley. I see no way. But again, 
I saw no way that Ngannou got knocked Spark out in two rounds either. I would have bet my life on that. No way, not, not in a month or Sundays. And he knocked Spark out. So I don't know nothing. But whatever I do know leads me to believe Fabio Wardley. He does too much. He really with it like that. He about it like that, Fabio is. Fraser, as we've seen, not so much. I believe the zest, if the zest is in you, it's more time fixing to come out when you're in a fight, yeah? I think there's a, a likelihood here that Fraser Clark could decide to. If it gets tough in there, he might just start shaking his booty. Yeah, because shaking your booty is almost like waving the white flag. I'm hearing Fraser Clark's team, they're not even bringing a white flag in there. No, no need, yeah? Fraser will just bust down on his knees, put his hands on his knees and just start making it shake. That's what the ref's been told. The ref's been told, the judges have been told, we don't need no flag. Fraser gonna use his booty as the flag, if he need to. I don't know, listen again. Fraser Clark, not in my predictions, Fraser Clark liable to go in there and smoke on Fabio Wardley. But if he doesn't, and if he wants to quit, he ain't gonna throw no towel in. No, 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 not, not Fraser. He gonna make that booty pop, yeah? And remind us of what he's really about. He might not be with the fighting. But his booty popping, he'd be on that one. Anyway, let's listen to some of the um, the vocals here. I like some of Fabio's bars. Uh, and listen, in all due respect, Fraser's been talking nice too. He's been saying some cool things. Do I believe it though? Yeah? Do I believe the bars that Fraser Clark's putting out there? I don't. Not just because he a booty popper, but more so because I've seen him in there with dudes like Marius Wack or whoever you want. He don't have that about him. He can't finish his dinner against anyone. Let's have a look here. Let's have a quick, let's peep this. Let's peep his box wreck. Fraser Clark, box wreck. Now, Fraser Clark's obviously got the amateur base. I believe he's a silver or bronze medalist. Um, Dave Allen took him six rounds. Marius Wack, 10 rounds, no knockdowns. That was the last fight of Fraser Clark's I watched, to be honest. I think it was around that time last year, actually, that this Fabio Wardley fight was being talked about, and I was intrigued. The only thing that got me intrigued about Fraser Clark was Fabio Wardley. So, around that period, he then went on to fight Whack. I thought, well, let's check what this guy's really saying. And it, I weren't impressed, and I haven't watched nothing since. I didn't watch that Dave Allen fight. Um, um, and that's just the bottom line. Oh, yeah, but everyone can have a bad fight, but Marius Whack. How many times? I mean, this guy must be knocking on 50. He's 45-year-old, people. He's 45-year-old, Marius Wack. And he's been knocked spark out by a few men. I mean, he's got, he's got a good chin. Dillian White couldn't finish him. Bacoli stopped him. Miller stopped him. Mahmoudov stopped him. But I think Mahmoudov got smoked, though, didn't he? No, 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 he didn't. I told a lie. Did he get smoked? I'm sure he got flown out to Saudi on some heavyweight zesty thing. Yeah, he did. He got smoked. Cabell smoked on that. Listen, Cabell, he's smoking on that right now. There was a lot of hype behind this guy. Oh, he did new Khabib. Oops, he smoked. Um, but yeah, Gwak is, is a solid dude. Vlad couldn't stop him in his prime. But, it, uh, for example, I believe Fabio Wardley, and obviously boxing isn't triangles, but I believe Wardley would punch Wack up differently. Wack straight up and down. He's big, he's a big lump, a big old lump. He's a big old lump and Fabio would be too quick and too hungry. Fabio would turn Marius Wack into a big old heavy bag, looking ass, in my opinion. And he'd be dispatched accordingly, like a big old heavy bag having ass would be. Do you understand? Now, that's that part done. Let's listen to some of the beef. Let's listen to some of the beef here. Some bars, really. Against Fabio Wardley. Sick and devastated, disappointed. Is this fight going to this happen? This fight is still definitely going to happen. I'm going home and my belts and Fraser's going to be sparked out on the floor. Talk is cheap. I'm going to put you to sleep. So, Wardley tells him, I'm going to knock your ass spark out. You ain't going to do nothing. Fraser, again, if you watch the build-up, Fraser's been saying a lot of the same things. Again, I don't believe it on multiple fronts. I don't believe he got it like that. He ain't in my book. He, I hope, listen, I hope it from... I ain't got no coin on the line. So it makes no difference to me. Genuinely, if Fraser can win this fight, salute to him. I just don't see it in a month of Sundays. F Fabio, he just... His chin looks solid so far. And when he gets punched, he reminds me of a... 
a real fighter. He gets hit and he wants to fight. Obviously, that can only get you so far. But it's better to see that than to not, from my point of view. I want to see someone who wants to fight if they get hit. Not someone who gets hit and then wants to backpedal. And Fraser Clark, he, I mean, he's got, obviously, his boxing skills on paper are more refined than Fabio's. But it's heavyweight boxing, people. This is heavyweight boxing. This ain't no one twenty sixteen, where you can go in there and, and Shakur Stevenson their ass. And even then, Clark ain't no Shakur Stevenson. He ain't that slick. If he was that slick, I can say, well, he might be able to slick up Wardley. He ain't that slick. He got better. Oh, has he got better boxing skills? That's what people say. Oh, his amateur background. I think if I, I think Wardley got better skills as well. Oops, because skills from my perspective are. It's skills. Um, it's skills as a function of power. Like people rate Floyd. I put Crawford leagues above Floyd. Why? He has skills combined with power. He will skillfully light your ass up. Yeah, Floyd ain't got that. Floyd will be in there politicking. Ain't hurt no one. Floyd never hurt no one since twenty years, thirty years. Yeah, oh, pretty boy. I ain't trying to hear about pretty boy. I don't, even then, I ain't interested. Even in Pretty Boy, even in Pretty Boy, Floyd was not knocking dudes out like Crawford was. He wasn't. He was hitting them 20 times. Like, for example, what do you think Crawford would do with Gatti? Floyd had to hit Gatti about a million times. He beat him up, but he didn't knock him spark out. He bludgeoned him, which is fine, but Crawford different. Crawford went in there with Avanesian. I believe Avanesian's better than Gatti, skill for skill. Avanesian coming there, doing all the bob. He was, doing, he was trying hard. Fair play to Avanesian. One punch, he sleeps somewhere. He still sleep now. He sleep it off. Crawford said, "Yeah, Spence come running in. He sleeps somewhere too. Yeah, Floyd never had it like that. So that's my point here. I believe Wardley has got a certain level of skill combined with a power makes him a better boxer. Yeah, he ain't just political. Ward, I mean, Clark's more just political. He's got political boxing skill." That don't turn me on though. And this isn't a case of Wardley just running. If Wardley just ran forward reckless, no, nah, he's slick. He got head movement. He can move his feet. I actually think he's the more complete boxer. Truth be known. Combine that with the fact he doesn't mind having a fight. Does Fraser Clark like to have a fight? I don't think you can say that, people. I don't think you can. And the way Wardley pressed Adelaide, I rate that. Adelaide weren't didn't even get a. A sniff into that fight. Wardley was on, dude. Can you say the same? Who has Fraser Clark ever been on like that? What, Dave Allen? And even then he was getting points taken off with low blows. You're making a meal. You're making a six-round meal of Dave Allen, who weren't even training. Now, there's levels to this game, I believe. Probably wrong. If, if Wardley gets knocked, spark out, more power to Fraser Clark. Yeah, I'll rate that. But this is the crunch moment now. This is where we find out who about what from both sides. I believe Wardley's done it more so already, but still, there's still questions. Is Wardley... Uh, we'll find out now. If Wardley knocked this guy ass out, I'm not sure. <sighs> Can he knock Clark out? Clark's tricky. He's tricky. He's school Is he schooled enough to negotiate this fight? I think what will be key is... If Clark comes to survive, he may well survive. He's got enough IQ to put his guard up and politic. Even then, though, Wardley likes them kind of guys. If you come there just with your hands up, he'll, he want to punch you. He's not going to sit back and say, oh, he's got his hands up, so I'm just going to lay low. That He liked that. Adelaide tried that. Adelaide went in there, oh, I'll just get through 12 rounds and be the first man not to be stopped. His ass got lit up and packed onto a plane. Back to the UK, you go, see you later. One of them for Adelaide. He talked too much as well. He, Adelaide was with talking. A whole bunch of this one. Got in the ring and tried to survive, but it didn't work with Wardley. Wardley's too aggressive. He really won it. He really showing up for the heavyweights. He ain't looking for political wins. He's looking to tear some ass up. Rightfully so. Um, there's some other bars, I think, here. Where is it? There's another bar here from, I think, Wardley and... Oh, I can't really play it, it's a bit leave it. Let me play it, Bunny. 
Oh, I can't play it because of the... Yeah, it's one of them. I can't play it because, you know what Sky like. Sky like Pagans. But yeah. How the fight goes. It's, a, it's either Wardley wins or Wardley knocks him out. There's no Clark doing nothing in my book. But again, fair play to I think Wardley's too quick, too powerful, too intelligent and powerful, and too hungry. Too dangerous. He punches with bad intentions. Does Fraser Clark punch with bad intentions? People are who they are. Yeah, and if you're in there going ten rounds of Marius Whack, Fraser Clark's never shown it like that. He's never shown that spite. If you can't show most people, yeah, at heavyweight in particular, most people are spiteful against bums. Fraser don't even have that. He, you know, he ain't even spiteful with bums. So to think now he's suddenly going to, become, going to become spiteful with Wardley after he's been popped in the mouth, I think it's unlikely. Now, people are, the speculation is, can Wardley do 12 rounds? Can Fraser Clark kind of wait him out like Canelo? Yeah, Canelo gets tired after six rounds. So is it possible Fraser Clark hangs in there, Wardley gets tired, and then Fraser Clark can come on strong? That's possibly a tactic. Is it possible that... Um, Wardley goes wild and Fraser Clark can hit him with something. Even then, though, I don't believe Fraser's got it like that. I don't believe he punches like that. Anyway, we'll see. Intriguing fight. Salute to both men. For, or, Wardley was already on it, but that's another reason. The fact Clark didn't really fancy it a year ago turns me off. I can't back someone in that fashion. So, But at the end of the day, we're here now. Respect to both men and the best man will win. Fair play. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let up the bell 100%. And no doubt.